SpaceX is one of the most important private space companies in existence today. The company has worked closely with the American Defense Forces and NASA on various projects and has bagged several new projects. However, we recently learned of SpaceX developing a new secret weapon. So what is this new secret weapon? Let's find out in today's video. SpaceX has recently collaborated and entered into a project with the U.S. Air Force on a massive air defense project expected to cost $102 million. The project is unique and has never been attempted before. The contract involves and mainly focuses on SpaceX, transporting military cargo and humanitarian aid around the globe. This is just one contract among many that the U.S. Defense Forces has signed with SpaceX. SpaceX is working on the U.S. Air Force rocket cargo project that involves using rockets for global logistics for the Department of Defense. Currently, it is unknown as to which spacecraft SpaceX will use for the rocket cargo program, but we do know that SpaceX will use its rockets to ship cargo to any part of the world in order to support humanitarian assistance. The Air Force will collect the environmental data needed for the program by monitoring SpaceX's launches and landings. The contractor is referred to as point-to-point -point transport to move a payload from one point on the planet to another. It is going to be the largest rocket cargo of its kind that has ever been offered. SpaceX has been flying reusable rockets for years. It also has a heavy lift rocket equipped with reusable boosters. The booster is known as the Falcon Heavy. The Falcon Heavy is the most powerful operational rocket in the world by a factor of two. With the ability to lift into orbit nearly 64 metric tons, the Falcon Heavy can lift more than twice the payload of the next closest operational vehicle, the Delta IV Heavy. The Falcon Heavy is composed of three Falcon 9 engine cores, whose 27 engines together generate more than 5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff, equal to approximately 18,747 aircrafts. It has the Starship system and is developing a reusable booster system called the Super Heavy, which will launch 100 metric tons into Earth's orbit. Musk believes that the ability to travel point to point around the Earth will be among the capabilities of that rocket. Space News reported that the Air Force Research Laboratory will call upon SpaceX to demonstrate heavy cargo transport and landing capabilities as part of the new contract. There seems to be no specified timeline as to when such a demonstration will occur. According to Space News, the Air Force Research Laboratory will leverage several commercial demonstration launches to collect data over the next few years. It's also mentioned that the Air Force will collect data whenever SpaceX flies relevant missions instead of driving the schedule. The contract also specifies that SpaceX will design cargo bays specifically for the project. These cargo bays will be designed for rapid loading and unloading and would be fit inside intermodal containers owned by the U.S. Transportation Command. The contract also extends to disaster relief and the delivery of humanitarian aid, in addition to providing cargo and supplies for the U.S. military. Despite all of these, we are still unsure as to when we'll get to see the first demonstration flight from SpaceX. It is also highly likely that other launch providers will be provided similar contracts in the future. However, for now, the U.S. military is sticking to SpaceX. This isn't the first time SpaceX is working with the United States government, and it probably won't be the last one. SpaceX has made a special request to the Federal Communications Commission as it prepares to further demonstrate what Starlink can do in the U.S. Air Force. In a filing, the company wrote to the SEC that it wants to make minor modifications to its experimental authorization for additional test activities undertaken with the federal government. SpaceX has once again proclaimed that the test will demonstrate that data can be transmitted and received from one or two static ground sites and two or more airborne aircraft at a single location. Another one of its tests will be conducted in a moving vehicle at this exact same location. SpaceX's Starlink project is where the main focus of the company is. Using advanced satellites in a low orbit, Starlink enables video calls online, gaming, streaming and other high data rate activities that historically have not been possible with satellite internet. Users can expect to see download speeds between 100 megabits per second and 200 megabits per second and latency as low as 20 milliseconds in most locations. It plans to use thousands of satellites called a constellation in the space industry to establish an interconnected internet network and deliver internet service to existing and potential customers. SpaceX has also announced that they have partnered with Ball Aerospace, an American manufacturer of spacecraft components and instruments for international defense, civil space, and commercial space applications. The company is expected to provide all the antennas necessary to connect styling satellites to an aircraft. 
SpaceX is going to be more than just a space company delivering cargo to space. SpaceX will provide services not just to governments and defense forces. It'll also provide commercial services to people around the world. There's much room for expansion, and Elon Musk is working on it. Well, that's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.